So now we're into the second screen of our software here called Profile Settings, and you can tell the name of the screen you're in by obviously its appearance, but in addition to that, up top it'll tell you the name of the screen you're on, Profile Settings here, as well as in the workflow. This is the easiest screen we've got. All you want to do is make sure that you are using the defaults and everything, so you can just check the checkbox and move on. I'm going to move on by clicking in the workflow icons at the bottom, and we'll click on Patch Set, which is the next one. So this is another easy screen. All you need to do is choose the proper patch set size, and I would recommend that you choose the largest size you can to get the most out of your monitor. It may take a few minutes more to profile, but I do believe it's worth it. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next screen. So now we're in the measurement screen, and this one's pretty easy too. The first thing we'd want to do is make sure that our device is ready, which means that it's plugged in, and we check that at the beginning, but as you can see, it just confirms it here. The next thing we'll do is we have a choice on our display hardware setup of either automatic display control or just brightness, contrast, and RGB gains manually. I'm profiling my Mac right now and don't really have manual control over brightness, contrast, and RGB gains, so I'm going to use the automatic display control. By the way, I should mention that this needs to be done in reduced room lighting. If you got overhead lights, turn them off. If you got blinds, get them closed. It doesn't need to be dark, but just reduced room lighting. The next thing I do is I start measurement by clicking this button right here. The measurement pages are pretty self-explanatory. You'll see there's a little diagram. The first thing we need to do is we need to rotate the ambient diffuser cover so that the lens is open. And of course, the screen will change to show it. When you put this on, make sure that your screen, I'm, you can't see that I'm doing this, but it's on my screen now. When you put it on, make sure that your screen is leaned back at an angle so there's a nice fit. You do not press it on, it just sits on there. After you've done that, we'll press the next button in the upper left hand corner to continue. Since I'm profiling using the automatic display option, the software will go through a series of screens with the progress being shown at the bottom. This measurement process will take a while, about 15 minutes, but through the magic of video technology, I'll compress that to about 10 seconds.